that's it. That was the debate. I will point out one one little thing at the end here too. Is I watched the SNL um, debate sketch that they did. They did a satire thing, and I'm I'm sure a lot of you guys liked it, and that's fine. Uh, but uh, SNL is dog shit, especially when it comes to like political sa- satire. Uh, like they didn't say anything substantive. Uh, they were just like making these very surface level, um, unintelligible jokes. They were, they were all punching down on the candidates. Um, like they made fun of Mayor Pete's height. Uh, they, they finally had Tulsi, but, uh, they were, you know, they pointed out, oh, she's the bad guy. He pointed, like, they compared her to Cruella de Vil and made her the villain. Which is just like, how much more of a fucking Clinton, CNN, MSNBC fucking talking point do you really need on a goddamn comedy sketch when they portray one of the strongest candidates that way? Candidate that they're all fucking afraid of. And they call out that they're all afraid of her, but then they compare her to Cruella de Vil. And it's like, what? That's the best you could fucking come up with? Woody Harrison played Joe, Joe Biden, and uh, I feel like that's the only one that's doing okay, is he, his creepy smile, like, Harrison nails that down, um, but again, the rest of it's all surface level stuff, right? Um I'm trying to think of, like, one good joke from it, and I can't think of anything. Like, they made fun of uh, Bernie Sanders being an old man and having, like, a hard candy in his pocket or something, or or soup. They made another soup joke. Uh, They had Tom Steyer and Bloomberg, and it it was just these very disappointing surface-level jokes. And it's like, and that's what political comedy has come down to, is that sort of shit. Towing the line of the establishment. That's what it is. There's no challenge. There's no there's no pushback to the establishment. It's all this surface level crap. And that's what people are supposed to pay attention to. Look at the surface. Doesn't she look like a villain with her one stripe? No. She, the reason why she has the, the, the one stripe of, of white hair is to remind her of the stress she went through in the military. And, and what... You know, like that, it represents the the, the true nature of, of what military interventionism is on a soldier. Not that she's gonna steal some fucking Dalmatians. It is fucking corporate. It is a neutered version of political comedy, and then that's what people think fucking political comedy is. No, you want to know who who true, real political comics are? Lee Camp, Stuart Huff, Tom Simmons. Jimmy Dore, Ron Placone, Graham Elwood, Bill Hicks, George Carlin, Janine Garofalo, Richard Pryor. These are real political comics that push back against the establishment, that fight back against the status quo, status quo that doesn't fucking represent the people, that look further than just somebody's skin color or hair or age. It's just them punching down on the uh, 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 on the candidates. It's not giving you any kind of substantive shit. Very disappointing to see. Very disappointing to see. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Uh, this is part of a little series I do called Road Reflections, where I talk to you while I'm on tour uh, about the current socio-political environment, current news stories, uh, debates, that sort of stuff that I don't get to talk about on my podcast, Taboo Table Talk or Forkful of Noodles. It's a little bit looser. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this clip. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, you can find the full episodes on my Facebook page. Uh, You can go like Krish Mohan, uh, social vigilante and comedian. And uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. 
uh, share this out if you enjoyed it. Um, and another way to help uh, see more regular content is by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash kushmohanhaha. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you on the road. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed the content that was discussed and the, and the type of humor that you saw in this video, then you'll probably enjoy my live stand-up comedy show. I've got live shows coming up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Madison, Wisconsin, Bloomington, Illinois, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Columbia, South Carolina, New York City, Philadelphia. I'm going to be on tour uh, in, in a whole bunch of places uh, at the end of 2019 and into 2020. Go to my website, ramennoodlescomedy.com, for my entire tour schedule. That's R-A-M-A-N, noodlescomedy.com. Check out my entire tour schedule, get your tickets there, and uh, we'll see you on the road. Thanks again.